For the Greater Cleveland Regional Transit Authority, the attack on 9-11 was a wake-up call. The way we travel had become a target of terrorism. Before then, certainly in our business, it was the motto was the trains and buses shall always roll. And now I think we double think those things. Ten years after 9-11, the trains and buses are still rolling. But RTA is dealing with the safety of their passengers in a whole new way. Prior to 9-11, everything was crime and disorder. Right. That was the mission. After 9-11, the focus became terrorism. Mm -hmm. Now, 10 years later, it's combination. We're still worried about crime and disorder, but we always have to keep in mind that we need to be prepared for the next 9-11. Now, Homeland Security Police help out with inspections of train and bus stations on a regular basis. <coughs> RTA has a new team of seven bomb detecting dogs that are trained to sniff out anything that could be dangerous left on trains or buses. They've installed a network of over 500 live cameras placed throughout the line in stations, buses and trains and along transit routes to monitor any suspicious activity. New computer software allows transit police to see what's happening at a location before they get there. But not all the changes are high tech. Even something as simple as new trash containers have an impact on combating terrorism. The old ones were made of metal that could create flying debris if exploded. The new ones? Plastic bags in a frame. Less metal means less injuries if there was an explosion. Plus, it's just harder to hide something in there. So if Homeland Security relies on RTA to guard against terror attacks, who does RTA rely on? The public. You know, we really rely on them. They're, they are our eyes and ears. And, uh, you know, there, there's uh, millions of them and uh, small numbers of us. During the last 10 years after the attacks on 9-11, RTA has made it a priority to be better connected in order to keep its trains, buses and passengers moving safely throughout Greater Cleveland. For News Channel 5, I'm Brian Archer.